Having arrived the night before near midnight, the morning would come early in upstate New York as we set out at 4 a.m. for Oak Orchard Creek, where we had hoped to intercept some big brown trout just moving in from Lake Ontario. Hey guys, welcome to On The Water TV. Chris Megan, today with Captain Bill Bortz, our old friend, Scott Glaze. We filmed with him a couple of times, but we're not over at the Salmon River. We're over here at Oak Orchard. Cap, what are we gonna be doing today? Uh, we're gonna be targeting these big monster brown trout that uh, put the Oak Orchard on the map. Um, we also might get in the occasional steelhead or a domestic rainbow. And we've caught a couple Atlantic salmon in the last week, so that would just be the cherry on oh, top. Oh, wow. He's already yeah. tight behind us here. We're gonna get after this thing hooked right up now. Here, so we, instead of talking, we Let, need to be fishing, fishing, right? All right, let's, let's go. get to let's it. Let's do it. It's just a really, really cool area. Jeez, half an hour from Niagara Falls, probably 25 minutes to Buffalo. This is apple country. Yeah, if you ever drank Mott's apple juice, it came from right this side of Rochester. Now they've harvested most of the apples, haven't they, by now? They're still going. Really? Saw them working yesterday on the way, on the ride back. Because I went by and I was shocked at how many apples were still on the tree and down by us, everything's already, for the most part, off. The deer population up here is phenomenal because of all those orchards, you know. That's what I was saying to these guys. I imagine that they must just love that. Uh, then you, you guys filmed the buck yesterday? We, we filmed, uh, we, caught, we, we caught up with probably four or five deer yesterday. First thing in the morning, the fish are relatively close. And then as we get a little fishing pressure, they're gonna start moving out. Show me the water we wanna be working and then the distance. Tends, if you cast more than one o'clock, yeah. uh, in relation it's to the gonna, way it's the water get flow, hung up. It, it'll get hung up a lot. Okay. But it, the reason we cast at one o'clock is we want it to start tapping the bottom at 12. And then we want it to tap a couple times between say 12 and 10 o'clock. And then once we get to 10 o'clock, we pick it up and we do it again. It's just, just working it in. Yeah, just Things not coming to you. Water, yeah. You gotta put the fly in front of them. Yeah, to keep that rod tip just going with that split shot, you'll get less hang ups. It doesn't have to be on the bottom constantly, but every now and then you just want to tick. There we go. Oh. oh. On and off. It does get your blood flowing though every time that happens, so. That's the best way to warm up is to hook a fish. And Chris, that wasn't like a, a big whack. It's more like it just stopped and the fish was there. And it was there? Sometimes they'll slam it like a freight train. Yeah, okay. Other times, it's kind of subtle. Is that a fish or the bottom? No, that's the bottom. That's called a fish. Oh, well, now it is. Those rocks don't He's swim on. like that. <laughs> I swear that was it. Man, let go of that line. Nice oh, job, Chris. Now I don't have go. to worry. I don't have to worry about him going into those. Uh... Uh, he'll run over that deep slot. He's trying to use the current to his advantage. I I saw that it was a fish. <laughs> the That's bottom. why I asked you. I said, Is that a fish? <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those rare upstate New York swimming rocks. Looks like you got a good hook set on this guy too. What happens when you try to pry it off the bottom? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now, when he's on the other side like that, yep. one of the best ways to put pressure on him without overtaxing your rod and your tackle is to get that rod tip right down close to the water. And just kind of manipulate him out towards us. Down further. What it does, it puts that, see that fly line gets a bow in it? Yep. The current's helping you fight that fish by putting pressure on that line that we're not putting on it with the uh, rod and reel. He's I'm coming, go, he's coming, he's go coming. Get the net. got go. it. Let him go if he wants to run. That's nicely done. Does it feel like a nice fish? I think he's decent, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's taking off now. Oh, he's taking off. He sees Let you. He sees the bill coming down on him. Yeah. He sees Grizzly Adams coming down <laughs> with a net. He doesn't want any part of it. Grizzly Adams, that's nice. That's a lot better than Sasquatch, is what I got the other day. <laughs> pump the reel, pump the rod back, and then reel down to him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there hey, he goes. You, you don't mind if I take a few casts in your spot while you go down there, do you? <laughs> No, not at all. <laughs> you bring him like straight in, you should swing right into him. Yep. 
Well, let him go if he wants to go. He does not want to come. Wow. Don't, don't let him straighten you out. He has that There we go. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long land right there. Yo, nice job, man. I saw that cinder block in the middle. I'm like, that doesn't look good. <laughs> good job. Thanks, brother. That's awesome. And look. Oh, oh what a view. man. <laughs> That's called starting the day off. Guys, we haven't been here 10 minutes. First fish of the day. Captain Phil Bortz, old friend Scott Glazier. We fished in the Salmon River. Chris Vegan, guys, we're going to get this guy back in the water. Not a bad start to the day, huh? No, not at all. Let's Sun's go. not even up all the way yet. Let's go get some more. Let's Absolutely. get this guy back in. You're watching On The Water TV. This guy should be good to swim, huh? Come on, fella. Yeah, that one's awesome, huh? There she goes, there she goes. Hang in with us, guys, only gonna get better. Boy, this is beautiful here, huh? You can see the sun just coming up over the trees. They were saying three to five inches south of Buffalo. And uh, I think I, I went through the heart of it, and I know Scott went through the heart of it as well. It was coming down pretty good. White knuckle drive. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that mentally. Leaving Cape Cod. No. Hey guys, welcome back. We just changed out the fly. And as Captain Phil said, usually in those first three or four casts is when a uh, new fly drifting through. We get the most action. Just throwing them something new. Fishing a fly rod here, but we got split shot on it. So it takes a little bit to get used to the loading it. And just unloading it. You don't really need to, you don't really need to, you know, uh, dry cast at all you just one shot and let it go you loads pretty easy with a couple of split shots on it this river is ideal for a fly rod it's nice you got coming down you know, your top part here coming off the fly line is going to be like you have like eight or ten pound down to your four or your six pound leader your fluorocarbon leader and just like the salmon river that leader is critical very similar way of fishing a salmon river. Flies, egg patterns, same thing. These fish are here spawning. Um, like I said, we can get into different stuff like domestics, we can get into the Atlantic even. But um, it seems to be working for us, so we're gonna stick with it. Oh, we're probably only fishing in two foot of water, but this particular spot, there's a series of little, little like uh, sandbars, and then uh, a little bit of a slot. Then there's another little sandbar and a slot. Then on the other side, it drops off uh, into a little bit deeper hole. But we're starting out here fishing the little slots and grooves. And then as the day progresses, we're gonna move closer to the deeper hole over there. A lot of these fish are gonna be right in front of us on these little gravel bars because that's where they're spawning and digging their reds. Oh, look at that. Chris is all hooked up here. There you go. That's him. That oh, looks like yeah. a better fish too. That was nice. You got a head shaker. Yeah, that was awesome. Boy, Cap, you were dead on right there as far as the, uh, just moving a little bit. I think I moved 10 feet to the left. It made all the difference in the world. And I kind of worked that one hole down below me about 20 feet further downstream. So I moved up, second cast, just covering a little bit more water. Had a nice pickup on it. Now, will this fish go up under the bank underneath that stuff, or will he stay kind of in the middle there? Yeah, he might try to get in the structure and, and uh, try to break you off there, but we're in pretty good shape right now. Yeah, I told you before, I love when the fish is parallel with you. Yeah, I like that too, Scott. You get the pressure on the side of the head, you turn it in the current, you're making it work. Take it up a little real estate now on him. Boy, I have a, t a tendency to want to not let that reel go, though. Here we go, come on now, keep coming, keep coming. He's laying over, he's definitely coming up. He's gotta be right there. You see him? Yeah. I don't. Wow, he's blending in. Right here. Oh yeah. That's a, 
that's a big brownie right there. Oh man, don't leave me, don't leave me. <laughs> they keep the rod tip low until I say lift. You got you it. You want to go up. Try to get his head out of the water. Okay, lift up on him. Okay. Lift up. He's up. There he is. There yeah. we go. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's awesome, That's what we huh? came here for. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Beautiful brown trout. Gorgeous. Look at the colors on that. That fish just came out, huh? Nice yep. and fresh. Just came out of the lake. Beautiful brown trout. Fish in Oak Orchard. Captain Phil Bortz, Scott Glazier, Chris Mingan. Hanging with us, guys. Only going to get better. Let's see if we can get this guy back to take off. Nice. There we go. There you go. There you go, Scotty. Nice fish right here. Scott's tight below me, and there's a fish in between me. Right now, there's got to be a big school of fish moving through here, so I'm going to try to get back out. Ah, uh, Chris. The ice on my eyelets is actually keeping the line from going out when the fish run. Are you kidding? Oh. Oh, jeez. Nice. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. Woo! Beautiful wow. fish, huh? Look, Look at the that. size of that thing. Brown trout. Oh my head. It's a football. <laughs> it's a total football. Look at that fish, Scott, huh? Hey, we're fishing Jurassic Park today. Yeah. <laughs> Is that awesome? Scott, I know we fished over at the Salmon River. I didn't know what to expect over here. I was talking to Captain Phil earlier about some of the size of the brown trout. Do you actually see them? You have no respect for how big these fish can get. Look at the jaw, huh? Let's get him back in the water. Guys, hang with us. You're watching On The Water TV. Captain Phil Bortz, Scott Glazier, Chris Megan. When you come back, I don't know if we'll get anything bigger than that. Oh, we will. That's we'll a beautiful do it. fish. Let's get him back in and let's get after it. There he goes, another one released. Well, we left yesterday from the Cape, and uh, I gotta tell you, it was about 55, 60 degrees there. And uh, we took a ride up here to the Finger Lakes region and completely not only different climate. We came up in the middle of a snowstorm yesterday and this is only the early November. Aptly named, Oak Orchard, New York sits on the southern shore of Lake Ontario, just about an hour's drive east of Buffalo. Known for its sprawling farms and beautiful orchards, it was easy to see why the famous Mott Cider and Applesauce Company called Oak Orchard home and have been growing apples in upstate New York since 1842. Over the years, the maritime port of Point Breeze in Alcott, New York, that sits just to the west of Oak Orchard, has become a popular tourist destination where travelers will come from all over the world to enjoy the beautiful beaches of one of this country's great lakes, Ontario. On this cool, beautiful fall day, it was big brown trout that lured us from Cape Cod nearly 500 miles to one of the many streams that empties into Lake Ontario where these big, beautiful trout and salmon will migrate each fall to spawn. Well, when you come up here to New York, and this is probably my third time up here, I fished Pulaski, and this is my first time at uh, Oak Orchard. It's a really, really cool place. It's hard for me to comprehend the fact that 48 hours ago there were 200 people standing here, and now there's what, three, four, five, six, seven people that are not in our party. So um, that's, uh, that speaks volumes. Veterans Day weekend this year was the magic day when everybody went home. 
Of course, it looks crowded up river, but can put everybody's with us. So <laughs> that's not a bad thing. No, we are the crowd today. Nice job, Tom. We picked up a couple of brown trout early this morning. Big slob brown trout. A couple of guys with us also picked up some nice rainbows. But what's really cool is one of the guys with us just picked up a lake trout of all fish. This is. Um this is really something else. I, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing here, but we got a lake trout, no orchard. That's just uh, completely unheard of. We get a now. big lake Look trout. Look at that, huh? Look at that. Wow. What a beautiful fish, old fork tail. Tight, baby, tight. This is hooked up. Yeah, I think he might be a brown. Boy, I picked him up right at right at the end of the cast, you know, let it drift back. You stay in that current, it's tough. Let's go, buddy. Oh. And keep in mind you're fishing with five pound tippet on that. Yeah, so. that's exactly it. Scott reminded me of that on the last fish. I'm not making you nervous, am I? <laughs> it's definitely a brown though, I think. I saw oh, the color of him. Yeah. Female brown. Rod tip down towards the water. There you go. Get that fly no, line in the in. water. That helps. That helps fight him. He wants to get right in behind that rock, huh? She saw me. It's a domestic rainbow. Is it? Oh, I'd yep. like to see this guy. Ooh. And it's a whopper. Thank you, Dan. Oh, it's awesome, man. I'll tell you what. You get a chance to get up here, Oak Orchard. I fished the last guy. Salmon River, and, and it's very similar, just as much fun. It's aw it really is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like the backhand net job on that, huh? Yeah. I had to zone in on that <laughs> yeah. one. Nice. That's awesome. Oh, what, what a pretty oh, fish. Oh, what a gorgeous man. fish, huh? Just let the handle okay, go. Okay, okay. There you go. I'll take the fly rod. All right. Here's your fly glove. So it's not just the monster browns out here. It's a, it's a little bit of everything. This is a gorgeous fish right here. Let me see if I can grab, get a good hold of the tail. There we go. Look at that baby, huh? Look at the colors on that. Is that gorgeous? Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Wow. That's a beauty. Look at the lines on that. It's funny when you get a nice fish, your hands don't really, they don't bother you as much in the water. No. <laughs> what a gorgeous fish. That's huh? a beautiful fish right there. Clean, perfect. We've had a great day out here. I'm going to get this guy back in and let him go. Beautiful fish. He deserves a swim away. Whoa. Look at that. Ah, this guy is really fresh. There he goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I said, he's very fresh. It's at 33 degrees. It's actually warming up really nice. It's becoming balmy. It's funny. It's, the sun's out. It feels so much nicer, but you still have to remember to dip that rod in the water, get rid of some of the uh, ice on your guides, because even though it's the sun's out, it's still that air is still cold, so it's still freezing up. One of the things I have to remember, not having done this a lot, throwing it up here at like one, two o'clock and letting it slide down to 10. I keep letting it come down all the way down to nine here and I'm not gonna do anything down there. Gotta love upstate New York's weather. What's the slogan? Welcome to upstate. If you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. As the light's starting to change, you can see what I was talking about, about the little fingers or slots here. Then you see there's a dark channel. And then can you see yeah, the exactly. other light spot yeah, exactly. over there? Try to and land it's dark on the other side of that, too. So what do you want to stay? You want to go in the dark or you want to go in the You know, I think what works best is when you cast over there at like 1 o'clock, as it sweeps, it's crossing both. Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? It's yeah, exactly. coming across You're getting the sandbar. the best of both worlds. Yep. Then the divot, then another sandbar. Yeah, Woo There you go. Oh, 
Mm. Got. Pop. Off. Came right up out of the water. Was it? On the bank side? On the bank side. If we get a monster, it's going to be in there. You should have seen this thing. It just came right up on the back side of the rock. This whole thing just came right up over. Tight, baby, tight. There you go. Had a nice pickup on it. There's a boulder in here that this fish is just sitting on. Just the back side of it. And he was funny, like the cap said, fish went all over the place, then all of a sudden he just hunked it into a hole and he hasn't moved. Feels like a good one. There he goes. Yep. He wants to get right in behind that rock, yep. huh? Oh, he's mad. Look like another brown. Looks like a nice brownie. The one thing you gotta remember here, and I sometimes don't do a good job of it, is that let that reel go. Don't clamp onto that reel handle. Otherwise, these fish, when they make a quick run, they're gone. Boy, you feel the head shakes on that guy? He is angry right now, very angry. These five pound tippets make me really nervous to just put the <laughs> crank down on them. This is such a cool area. You've got to get up here. Any of our viewers or any of our subscribers to the magazine, if you want a great time, I highly recommend fishing with either one of the guys that I fish with, Captain Phil Bortz, put us on a plenty of fish today, and our old friend Scott Glazier, who I fished with before on a couple of other shows. You get this fish close, this is where you get to the heartbreak stage. All of a sudden it just popped. That's a, that's a nice long fish. I can't see how fat he is, but he's uh, got some length. Come on now. I'm trying to walk him in as close as I can, but you just you take your time with this fish. He's got uh, he's got a pretty good set of shoulders on him from the way it looks. I see him now, I see some color. He sees you too. Yep. We, see, we see him, he sees you. There it is, that's his head. Oh, you came in the back Ooh. way. <laughs> awesome. Good job, Chris. Thank you very much. Awesome. Oh, that's a nice fish, huh? What a haul of this fish. Oh, that's this a nice a, fish. I think this is the biggest fish of our day right oh, now. Oh, my lord, oh, that's a beauty. Oh, that's a beauty. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. All right, you got that? Look I'm going to pick him up. Got him, Chris. All right, wow, is that gorgeous? What a beautiful fish, man. You know what? I, th I, I, knew, I thought it was a pretty good size. I didn't think he was any bigger than the last one. But look at the size of this creature. Oh, my head. Look at the belly on her. Oh. Look at the size of that beast. This would be a decent strike. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this guy's swimming really well. You were saying earlier this is one of the big ones you've seen out here, huh? I think that's the biggest hen that we've uh, caught this season out here. Look at the size of the stomach on that. Look at the gut on that thing. Well, Cap, I want to thank you very much. I've had a great day out here. Scott, great day. Captain Phil Bortz, Chris Megan on the Water Magazine. Guys, if you'd like to learn more about today's show, log on to onthewater.com. Cap, if they want to get in touch with you so they can get up here and pick up some of these slobs, what would they do? Uh, log on to my uh, website, uh, theschoolhouseinn.net. Cap, I know that they, uh, they've they fished with you a few times. I know we've sent some your way. Anyone who's ever sent your way has always had a great trip. Beautiful fish. Let's get this guy swimming. My left hand's about to go down.